Hey guys, this is John Bretz, Director of Product Development for Okuma Fishing Tackle, and I've got two key things that I'm going to talk to you about the Makaira Spinner Reel. The very first thing is a drag system. The drag system is very unique because it's unlike any other spinner reel out in the market where it works like a lever drag system. So what you'll see here is that we have a preset dial in the middle of the lever drag. We have an index of numbers all the way around the drag knob. So what we do is when we want to set this reel, you'll see there's a little white dot there on the drag knob and we back this off all the way to the zero position and we get a drag setting by adjusting that preset. Now what I'm going to do before I fish this reel, I'm going to pick a reference point. Because the one thing that this does not have like a regular lever drag is it does not have a strike position. So you're going to use a reference point. For me, I'm going to pick the number 10 spot. So I'm going to run that drag, that white dial, all the way up to the 10 spot. I'm going to pull the line off. I'm going to try to set that drag between 25 to 30 percent of the braking strength of the line. Now if I feel that I've got too much drag pressure set, I'm going to back that thing all the way off. I'm going to back off that preset knob. So you can see it works just like a lever drag. I'm going to run that back up again to the 10 spot. I'm going to run the line, pull it on a drag scale. If I've got the right position that I want to be fishing all day long, my next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to number 12. I'm going to take a drag setting and then I'm going to go to number 15 I'm going to pull drag just so that I know if I need more drag pressure, I know exactly how much drag I'm increasing. And the reason why this is important is that the Makaira spinning reel can generate up to 66 pounds of drag. So if you're unsure, it's a very dangerous situation if you're just going to blindly move that uh, drag knob. You're going to in, be in a situation where you're going to break offline. So you want to always test that drag so you know exactly where you're at. Now the other thing, just like we talk about in a lever drag reel, is that this preset dial should always be adjusted when you're all the way at that zero or free spool position. The reason why is that you put a tremendous amount of pressure if you're adjusting it when it's in, engaged and we don't want to crack that drag cam which can cause a failure to the drag system. Now the second thing that we have that I want to talk to you about is the retrieve direction. Whether you want a reel that's going to crank with a left hand or you're going to be cranking with the right hand. Now the reel that I have right here in my hand is what we call an LS model. It's set up to crank left hand retrieve. Now on the inside of the handle, it'll be stamped with an L so that you can clearly identify that it's a left-handed handle. What I have right here is a right-handed handle and you can see right there the stamp for the R so that you clearly know that it's right hand. Now if you were to purchase the LS model as a charter boat captain and you need to have both left and right hand retrieve, you don't need to do anything different with the reel other than purchase a separate handle that's marked with the R. And all you got to do is back off the cap, crank this one in, remove the left hand and put the cap on the left hand side and you've just converted the reel from left hand retrieve to right hand retrieve. There's no need to go in and adjust a handle shaft. Now the reason why we did this was that we wanted to build the ultimate reel in regards to strength. If we were to take that reel handle and make it so it could screw in left hand and then take that and put it in the right hand, what we have to do is we have to jeopardize strength on one size by making one shaft larger in diameter and the screw threads on the other are smaller in diameter. And for the Makaira spinning reel, we want to make sure that there is no opportunity for failure. So this reel is built to be the ultimate for strength. Thank you for watching Okuma's how-to video segment. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe.